Okay, this is uh, Aaron Johnson, a set of Rotortex 610s. Uh, did a weigh-in on them here real quick. I've already balanced or found the uh, Spanwise CG and, and marked it. Uh, we'll go with the first blade here. This thing's already been weighed and marked, but uh, we'll see what it is in the scale. 134.79 uh, before I add the tape to mark it up here at the root. Uh, it came out uh, 134.76. So that's the first blade. Second blade again. I've already marked Spain Y CG. I'll set this down here. We're showing 134.2223. Uh, again, I've already marked it with a piece of tape. 134.22 is what we saw. So these blades, even though he's been flying these and hasn't seemed to have any complaints about them, uh, you know, they're point, uh, basically point four gram off. Uh, we'll, we'll adjust that as we go through the, uh, the build. All right, just to go over one more time the reason why we're going to apply clear coat to the lean edge of this Rotortech 610 blade before we lay up our night our traces um, is because the lean edge has exposed carbon fiber, which by the time we wrap our electrical lines across there for our LEDs, we're going to short out. And I'm just going to show you the meter is in ohms or resistance. And all I'm going to do is just lay my probes against the lean edge of the blade. Get this set up here. As you can see, various resistance readings, but all enough to discharge a battery. All right, so we're going to do a little uh, blade prep on these. Uh, these are previously been flown, so there's a little bit of uh, oil residue on them because it's on a nitro uh, helicopter. So I'm going to clean these uh, up with some rubbing alcohol, and then I'm going to do some surface prep before I apply my clear coat to the leading edge uh, with some 600 grit wet dry paper. Okay, so I've taken uh, 600 grit wet dry paper to the blade. And you can see we've taken, uh, taken the, the, the sheen off of the blade and doled it up just a little bit, make it a little more basic prep service for our clear coat to stick. So what we're going to do when we clear coat this is we're just going to do the leading edge where that exposed copper is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay up, basically take the airbrush and spray in at an angle straight on with the leading edge just to build up a nice boundary layer across there for insulation purposes rubber gloves, mask. Over here at our paint booth, we've already got our MEK for some cleanup. We've got our clear coat that's already been mixed four to one. And our fans are on, lights are on, ready to go. Okay, so our blades have been sprayed. Uh, they're just gonna sit here and hang for the work day, which is nine o'clock in the morning. So we'll let those sit in the paint booth with the fan running all day and let those care. So, good night, blades. Okay, so our blades have uh, been in the paint booth for about nine hours now, <clears throat> and clear coat is uh, set up on them. So, you can see that the lean edge has a lot more sheen to it right there, and then it fades out. So what we're going to do to test these for continuity, make sure we don't have continuity, is I've got one probe down here in the uh, bolt hole of the blade. I'm going to take this probe, and we're going to touch this in the back side of the, the tail blade. So there's a trailing edge, so you can see we got about 85 ohms across there. So now I'm going to take this and drag this across the leading edge of the blade. And really it's only critical right where the conductors are crossing over, but I go ahead and do the entire leading edge if you're going to clear it. So that's the first blade, good to go. Second blade, same routine. Tip into the bolt hole on this end.
All right, our clear coat is acting like an insulator. Okay, one of the things that we've done to the blade, now it's out of the uh, paint booth for the application of the clear coat on the leading edge. So I've gone back over the entire blade surface and lightly sand it uh, wet with 600 grit wet dry paper. And that's just to prep the surface for putting the tape on, gluing the components to it, and then, uh, you know, again, it's going to get uh, final coat of clear, clear coat at the very end. Okay, once again, just going to check weight after they've been, uh, had the clear coat added to the front and done some uh, light sanding for some surface prep. So 134.72. 135.03 all right where to put the copper tape on the blade what I've done here is hung both blades back on our drill bit stuck into the shelf again and I've hung my weighted piece of kite string here just to look to see how the blades are hanging what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up putting the copper tape basically right where the string is hanging. I'm going to have some mass on the front side as I wrap around at the LEDs. I'm also going to have some mass on the back side of the blade where the uh, battery and the charge jack are. Now keep in mind that mass is going to be all the way up here at the root so it's not going to affect as much as it was out here. So I'm just going to try to lay this right down where the CG is hanging at. So I'm adding the mass on the CG, not putting it in front of it or behind it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this, uh, get the camera lined up here. We can see the string pretty much touches that yellow mark on the blade. And the other end of it is obviously the, the bolt hole. So we're going to use that as our center points to run the copper tape down. Okay, taking this measurement here from the yellow mark to the leading edge, uh, we're right about 19 millimeter. So we can get the camera squared up here all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a piece of blue masking tape and 19 millimeter off the leading edge back here i'm going to put that piece of tape that way i've and i'll probably do a, another spot mid span on the blade that way i've got some data points along the way to uh, put that wire on here we're going to cut our copper tape, tape to length. We're going to adhere it to the mat using the blue masking tape. And then we're going to split it with an X-Acto. And when we do these, we're going to make one for each blade. Because if I start with a single piece of copper tape and I split it by hand, so it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be pretty straight. We'll use a, this plate glass back here as a straight edge. Um, that's going to be a match set, and they'll go on one blade, and they'll make another one for the second blade. Exacto, I use a block of wood here with sandpaper adhered to it, and I actually use this for sharpening the tip of the knife, so we got a really good sharp edge. Just showing a technique here to cut up some blue tape two inch wide strip, cutting it into about uh, quarter inch pieces, using this to hold down the copper tape before we split it. When we tape the copper tape to the mat, we're going to tape it every two inches. Two inches wide. I've cut all of my horizontals that I'm going to need. So now we've made a whole bunch of one inch by quarter inch strips that we'll use to tape the copper foil down.